If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over what you guys need to be doing in Madden 22 Ultimate Team right now. Now, here's the thing, guys. We are in one of those periods of time in Madden. When the game had just dropped, right, we had the, the first week's worth of content. And then we're finally going through the transition of trying to get some weekly content into the game, right? So the first week's of Madden, typically there's really no weekly content. If you're lucky, you get like the first Legends drop or the MVP drop, right? But then now we're working in Wildcard Wednesday, potentially Signature Series, potentially, you know, we have the Legends already. Eventually, maybe we'll have something on Mondays, some of the week Tuesday. So they're working in our weekly content slowly. They're integrating it so that we're going to be through this period of transition where we're slowly working things into the game. So there's a period of time, guys, where it's not so much the period where you're working on finishing all these solos or finishing on this. Like, you, you may have that all done already. So what's the primary focus during this time period for me personally on Thursday, August 26th? And most Thursdays, honestly. Before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Always head on over to my reserve and use code Poodle at checkout if you do need coins. You get 15% off to make sure you take advantage. And for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we have Griffin Ponce. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video and comment down below. Poodle Squad. Next, heading on over to missions, right? What I personally think, what I personally think is the most, the thing you want to focus on the most right now, and it depends. If you've had the game since launch and you're already finished, obviously, if you, ha if you haven't done your solos yet, finish them. I'm assuming that most people who play pretty seriously or watching this video probably have finished most of the solos. In my recommendation, you want to get every solo done pretty much in the game. The only thing I don't have finished, like actually finished, is going to be, uh, yeah, I was going to say 5 out of 10. I think I finished that. The campaign. The campaign is something I do actually need to finish. I just don't. I'm not a fan of full game solos, but I'm going to I'm gonna get through it. I have to get through all these to earn some rewards. So I will be going through them pretty shortly, especially for that uh, level 50 full legend and everything else. But yeah, so the campaign is something that I definitely going to finish playing, but... In my opinion, what you, what you want to be finishing first in terms of solos is definitely get your legend solos done. Those no, those novice players were actually really good to do the sets with or exchange for base slate. Gridiron Forge legends and superstars, the ones that you want to be focusing on. Of course, flashbacks take like no joke, five minutes to get their power ups, which I did take my Daniel Jones power up. But as I'm assuming most of you have the solos done. The next biggest focus for me is first, make sure you are planning your time accordingly because some people have a th okay. So it's, you know, throughout the week, some people will be like, I'm going to play all my solos today. Not realizing that solo battles, you have 48 hours in between the sets, you know, like the sets of games. So solo battles, you come over here, you can see usually when the, when the game does reset for solo battles, you're going to go ahead and be able to get your next set of games. I don't know why it never shows for me. It, I think my solo battles is honestly glitched to this point. Um, I really don't know what's going on with this. I, I don't know if my, my, did I play them on current gen. Like, I don't know why it's doing that, but so make sure you guys are if you guys are playing solo battles which i highly recommend you do to get some easy coins in a year that's gonna be a little bit hard to get coins i highly recommend you play your solo battles and again i did do a solo battle guide so if you want to know how to place top 100 in solo battles head on over to that again i explained why i'm not top 100 my xbox turned off with that stupid glitch two to three times i don't remember i think it was i think it was two because the other one was in a head head head, head. i did them back to back it turned off two times when i was in like the top 100 already and then i completely just dropped out because two games lost and soul battles just it's just a death sentence but anyways check out the solo battle guide i did post a few days ago follow those tips and i promise you we're getting crazy high scores and then moving on so make sure you guys are timing your things out right with um soul battles because if you do not you will mess up some people say oh i'll grind them up later in the week but then that leaves you with 12 and then it's friday night you go out with your friends or your family and then it's saturday and then the nfl is on sunday so you're watching games and then before you know it's like I can't finish my solo battles. Also, Weekend League. I highly recommend you play Weekend League. Even if you don't actually think you can compete, play a few. You know, just with disconnects and stuff, you could probably win 5 to 10 pretty easily. Um, I highly recommend you check it out. For a few reasons, there are going to be weekly objectives based on winning Weekend League stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure it would be under... I'm pretty sure it's under weekly objectives. You will see when Weekend League games will get you some XP. It'll get you some coins. It'll also add to your head-to-head -head games, which you do need. It'll probably some more stuff in here as well that you'll probably see at some point. So make sure you guys are going ahead and playing your Weekend League and solo battles. And then fitting your solos in between, right? So what I do is, right, Monday, I finished my five solo battles games. And then I played my solos. Then Wednesday, Thursday, right, I'm going to finish my next solo battle sequence. And then place it once that opens up and then play some more solos. And then tonight when weekly drops, I'll knock out a few games per day. So I'll try to get like five games done today, 
another six the next day and then probably grind out a lot on sunday which is what i usually do uh but again don't always hold them back for sunday because if you do hold your weekly game back for sunday literally anything a friend invites you out a significant other you have to go out to dinner something happens with your car you gotta go to car wash you gotta go shopping something for school came up suddenly you're not finishing those games so and, and nothing's worse than because i guess again weekly league similar to soul battles missing two to three games is enough to completely knock you out you, you miss three games, you get three disconnects on them, you're pretty much not making top 100. Unless, for whatever reason, you're really good and you probably wouldn't lose any other games. You'll go 22 straight, right? For me, I'm guaranteed to lose probably six to seven games minimum. Uh, so, for me, six to seven games minimum, I'm already looking at a 18 to 19 wins. And then, again, and that's minimum. Like I said, I'll, I'll probably lose more, but I'm saying I'm, gonna, I'm never going to pretty much win more than 18 to 19 games. Uh, but then, on top of that, if I disconnect my Xbox, turns off at least another three times... Now I'm at 15. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to struggle to even get the top tier rewards. So make sure you guys are timing that out because you do not want to miss some games as well. Because if you miss games on top, like if you leave two to three games on the table, plus potential disconnects and bad games you lose or get unlucky, you're not going to play. So definitely make sure you're planning your time with that and getting your solos done with that. And guys, one of the most important things to be doing right now is getting your cam chance done. I feel like this is the perfect time to get cam done. So a lot of people, right, they never know, like, how do you get cam? Like, cam's not a guy that you can just casually grind for, right? I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. I looked at the objectives. If you guys try to get him like naturally by just like playing the heads to heads and stuff, it's going to take a while. And I'll get I'll get through a few reasons of why it's going to take a while. And I'll break the math down for you in just a second. But right now is the perfect time because we currently don't have a ton. We don't have a ton of seasonal promos, right? Right now, like we don't we don't have anything seasonal. So there's no big Halloween promo. There's no big uh, you know house rules. There's nothing going on right now. Really, all there is is weekend league and solo battles. And we're getting, a, we're getting a few basic drops. I think this is the perfect time to get your cam up. So when the game starts coming in hard, you could already have cam locked in. Because remember, what if a new big, you know, what if you're going to want to, you're going to want some good safety. I already have Ed Reed, but I want one more. So it'll be nice to get cam finished. So I can just toss him in there with Ed Reed and just have a goon squad at safety. So I've been working pretty hard towards the Ed Reed. Now it may not look like it, but trust me, it says one of 10, which you can't see because of the camera, but I'm almost done with a lot of stuff. So the objectives, right? I'm 70% done with this, so I, I could have that done, like, maybe in a day or less. Like, if I really went to it, it could take me, like, an hour or two, and I'll be done with that. Uh, touchdown, rushing touchdowns is the thing I'm furthest behind on. Intercept 100 passes, says 50, but if I just play a full few games, uh, full game solos and some heads of heads, I'll get that pretty easily. 5,000 points, I'm 98%. The rushing yards, like I said, I'm pretty far behind on. 87 passing touchdowns, 87%. Almost done there. 200 sacks, I'll just play some full game solos. 100, uh, 1,000 tackles, at 67 I'm actually much closer than you may think. I mean, if you average it all, I'm probably above 50%. Or I'm definitely above 50% for everything uh, if you average it out. And then what I have to do is, so here's the problem. Let's do the math, right? And this is the thing. Passing yards is on one end of the spectrum and rushing yards is on the other end of the spectrum, which is what sucks because if you want to go heavy in a solo passing, you're not getting your rushing. And then if you go into head-to-head -head games and you're a heavy passer there too, you're still not getting a rushing. But let's do the math. So 80,000 passing yards, right? If you want to play it legitly. Let's say on average, you average around 250 to 300 passing yards per game. Let's go with 300 passing yards per game. So you divide that by 300 passing yards per game. It would take you 266 head-to-head -head games. So now, times that by, let's say, on average, like a 40-minute head-to-head game. Now divide that. So that's 40-minute head-to-head game, right? Now divide that by 60. It would take you 177 hours, potentially. 177 hours, potentially, of playing head-to-head -head straight, of always getting 300 yards with no disconnects or anything. So 177 hours, divide that by 24. That would take you seven straight days, no sleep, no water, no food, of playing head-to-head. -head. So you, you now make it realistic, right? With school and with life and everything, you, you figure you can only play like three hours per day, so you have to stretch that out. That would take you a few months probably to finish, give or take. And that's just the passing yards. That's also, now, in terms of touchdowns, you have to have a certain amount of touchdowns per game as well. Uh, in terms of points, in terms, of, and don't mention now. Now, once you're done with that, that could take you months. Now, once you're done with that, you got to go ahead and gain 400 rushing touchdowns. Well, let's you know, let's go 25 rushing, uh, rush 25,000 rushing yards. Let's say you average around like 80 per game, right? That's like a realistic figure. Now, that's 312 games it would take you. 312 games it could take you. It, I'm telling you, you guys got to go ahead and focus on doing campaign full game arcade solos or going to the passing or like the. The Allworth or the, oh my god, what's that guy's name on the Seahawks? The running back for the team captain. You got to go to the team captain solos and play them both. That's going to be your best bet for actually going ahead and getting these. Like I said, I've knocked this out in like a week or two of just straight grinding when I have the time, like an hour, two hours at a time. I would recommend you go ahead and grind that right now. We're in a, we're in a kind of a downtime where you, you have a little bit of a small window before all the promos start dropping like crazy. 
to get in and get this stuff done so you can just not worry about it anymore because you want to be worrying about this when there's other things to be doing in the game like so you want to be sniping you want to be auctioning you want to be focusing on other stuff you want to be flipping cards making investments watching youtube right but yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing in madden right now i think you want to focus on your cam you want to focus on leveling up right now that's kind of the period of madden like you i think you this is like the time period the small window to hit that and of course make sure you are timing your solo battles and we can lead accordingly within that but guys about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you need coins head over to my reserve down below and use code poodle at checkout thank you for watching i'm out peace